In fact, I work in the past 20 years with my wife, my only partner, Lu Wenyu, together. But we shall stand here together to speak. But usually he won't keep the feeling more like a secret. So now, just me, stand here. <coughs> so today I want to talk about some uh, uh, basic thinking of our studio, our work, and our practice. Um, in fact, we especially we focus on the the meaning of Chan. Uh, we call this uh, how like the architect become an, a live constructor. <clears throat> it has a background. Yeah, why we think about this? It has a background. <clears throat> That's the day. When I got the Prisca Prize, I, I, I live in the Grand Hyak Hotel. <laughs> it's a big room. And from the window, I see Beijing. It's my hometown. When I am the childhood, I have uh, four years. I live in the Beijing, live in the Hutong for four years' experience. But now I stand here to see, wow, the really great job, great development, great achievement for this city. It's uh, so huge now. But only one thing I have to conf have a confusion is, uh, I, I don't know, it's where? <laughs> it's uh, New York? It's uh, Chicago? It's where? I don't know. Yeah, it's a new city. It's another city. But I know his name is not Beijing. It's another one. Of course, the Chinese architect did really do great effort for the new architecture approach uh, because the people also think uh, a very confusion problem is uh, we, we build so many buildings, uh, incredible large amount. But for example, we, we, we also copy all the New York to, to China. No problem, we copy, right? But it's really we can copy the life in New York as really we build the city similar to New York, we can become New Yorker. <laughs> I think it's a, it's a silly question, but it's a good question. But the people, they, they do great effort. They want to give the identity for China city. So for example, you can see this uh, famous master's works. They want to do something like the people say, oh, it's China, something like this. As you really become very, uh, uh, a crazy and a strange effort, I think. That day, I got a prize in the Grand Hall. It's a really fantastic ceremony. Um, about more than 600 Chinese architects, famous architects, would come to Grand Hall in Beijing. So I got a prize there. And just after the ceremony, I like the driver, uh, we have a car, I like the driver, go back to my home place. And I'm the childhood, I'm staying here. This is my home place. That day is be demolition because uh, they have built national new philosophy center here. So we should do some sacrifice for the new national philosophy center. Yeah, okay, we do the sacrifice. But for me, it means this home place be demolished from that day, the cut and the relation between me and the Beijing. I have no relation to Beijing, I think. <coughs> in fact, now I stayed in another city, Hangzhou. I, I not both in Hangzhou. I, not, I both in the far west China city, Xinjiang, Wulongqi. People don't know there. It's very near Afghanistan, Pakistan, in the desert. But Hangzhou is my spirit hometown for me. Why? You can see it's a beautiful painting. It's been painted 1,000 years ago, the South Song Dynasty. It's interesting, it's, uh, in fact, this city, Hangzhou, is very near Shanghai, but it has a very, very special meaning to Chinese. In fact, it's, you, can, you can see a different way, different thinking about cities. So this is old Hangzhou's drawing, but it's very difficult to find architecture on this drawing. 
because everything is mixed in the landscape. So you just can see the landscape. Yeah, this is the map. You can see Hangzhou, the Shanghai, this province. It's have a very important meaning in Chinese culture because this, this area in China especially have the relation to our traditional scholars' cultures, this area. It has a special meaning for China. You can see it's a painting. It's now, it's Hangzhou. It's a, usually it means city. Half is a city, half is a landscape. Totally mixed together like this. For Chinese, this means city, like this. Of course, now, even Hangzhou, till to now, Chinese still say Hangzhou is the most beautiful city in all of the China, but it still has a big change. Yeah, it's Hangzhou now, like this. <coughs> but, uh, it's, it, it's, of, of course, Hangzhou in China is not, it's, very big cities. Beijing is a big city. Shanghai and uh, Guangzhou is a big city. You already have the more than 20 million population. Hangzhou is smaller. It just have 8 million population. It's a small city in, in China, but still have the big change like this. In 2006, I do the Tales Garden. It's a national uh, pavilion for Chinese. Uh, it, it, it's, it's, it's not easy because uh, the curator gave a phone call to me. It's very late. They, they want I do this. And they tell me that the, the government just gave the money to rent the place. Apart from this, uh, no, no money, no time. And uh, um, so please do a national pavilion for <laughs> China. But that time, I'm really very hard work to our campus design. In fact, I almost no time. I discussed with my wife. We, we, we think we can't do this. It's too difficult. And I give the phone call to the corridor. He said, OK, you are the only choice for us because we, we know no money, no time. So for this condition, we think in Chinese architects, only you can do this. So if, if you don't do this, this year China uh, will not join the Venice Benali. So finally, I say to my wife, OK, uh, whatever, early or late, we will do this. So we do it. Uh, of course, because we, we do the, the campus con uh, construction that time, so we keep the many recycled materials. So Material for us is, means almost free, right? <coughs> it's materials, recycled materials. It's, uh, uh, it's a sketch. It's more important things is a construct. I remember that it's a, we, we bring the 600,000 tails, recycled tails to Venice, and the 5,000 bamboo to the Venus. <laughs> I, I, I remember uh, I have the memory about this is uh, I, first day when they go to the site, the Italiano is very uh, proud. They even don't let us go in the site. And uh, I think when they start our work, they say, oh, so short time, we only have two weeks time and uh, so large amount of construction, they can't finish because only six young Chinese architects with uh, three Chinese workers together, nine people, they want to finish this con construction, 800 square meters on site. It's, in, it's, it's impossible, but uh, just one week later, they work like this. So when they come again, go in the uh, arsenal, every uh, Italian guard, they give this to us. It means what? It means, uh, it really means a different way they really worked. Because in my studio, uh, after my assistant is, my, uh, is also my students. So every people, they, it's like the Christmas, we can work. We, we they, they really can do construct. It's a final result.
uh, everything is come from tradition, but in fact, it differs a little bit different from tradition. I think the museum is uh, uh, it's, uh, it's most maybe it's the uh, most suitable things to talk about the meaning about China. And uh, usually in China, we, we 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 are very like to talk about time. For example, we we say, oh, we should work very hard uh, to catch up the the time's time. <laughs> Do this. So, what's the meaning about time in China? Uh, one meaning maybe it means we should demolish everything about tradition. It means we we can let our history from a five thousand to zero. It means we catch up modern time, right? In fact, people now they do this. And uh, another thing says means you have to do everything very fast. It means time. But I think the time is to uh, have uh, quite a different feeling. Time itself. Uh, we do this uh, in the history museum. In fact, every time in China, usually people say, "Oh, I'm the architect studio." They usually can do something. Everybody see it's, pos it's impossible, but finally, they can do it, become impossible things, like possible things. In the history museum like this. In fact, we, we do this work in Ningbo, another big city in our province. And uh, this site, you can see, it's very uh, typical Chinese situation. The city developed to the field. The dawn is a farmer's field. The city, every big city, we have more than 120 big cities in China. Everyone the bigger than Chicago. And uh, every city in the past 10 years, they expand 10 times scales. So you can imagine what happened in China. They like the nuclear bomb. Whether they be, every city be bombed 120 times. <coughs> it's a, so how to design a, a building here? Because when they do this, uh, old traditional village have de demolished in this area. Yeah, the, some, uh, another famous young Chinese architect do the master plan for this area called Small Manhattan here. And uh, they invite me to a competition about history museum. And uh, it's a very complex process, uh, I think. We just talk about uh, how, how to keep the memory, I think. It's, it's, this is what I, I want to do. Because I think the people, they need their life, they need memory. Uh, in fact, before this, we, 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 we do a, a long time work about uh, uh, conservation for the traditional building in this area. On another side, uh, uh, I, I want to express, it's not just about materials, and not just about uh, texture. I, I also want to express another attitude. It's have some a little bit uh, f meaning about uh, politics attitude in China. So for example, if this is these two pictures, you will find, oh, this is the landscape drawings. And one is our museum. In fact, it means another world you can see in the buildings like this. It means another feeling about the time. We have a long time of history. Scholars' history, usually, we have a story. For example, we taught it's uh, uh, another place. It's uh, the people living there. They forget the time. And, uh, uh, it's totally different value system. So I give this metaphor here. <coughs> and another thing is about uh, how to, uh, it's our uh, approach is how to, like the uh, craftsmanship materials, natural materials, recycled materials, they can really can co-work with the modern system together. Because if you just talk about the tradition, you can go back to countryside, just as design and build small buildings. But another side, in the cities, uh, I think we can't abandon the battle in the cities. 
So this is my battle in the cities. We do this, insist there, do something. So it's a, we do this a long time, gradually we get experience how to control these difficult things. For example, this bamboo wall, we use the bamboo to cast concrete. Uh, as we do the experiment near 30 times, finally, we touch our van. But on the other side, in China, you know, usually the client, they don't like you do so many experiments in real world constructions. So usually we, before we do this work, we will do the discuss with the client. If the, the client is really interesting about this, we will accept this project. If they don't have any interest about this, I will directly give up, refuse this project. So in fact, our studio, every year we just accept one new project. We control the amount, then we can control the quality. Because it means incredible hard work. It's a four times, five times than the normal works. You can find it's a, it's a final result, usually beyond I imagine, usually better than my design, because the present craftsmanship, they have a little bit independent system. They work in this process. So finally you will find you control the old process, but sometimes you know you will lose the control in some place. But finally, the result is a really become some, uh, in China we call this mean nature, like this. <coughs> yeah, of course, we have to go to the construction site uh, many, many times because uh, almost every day it has new things happen on the site. Because for the modern works, they say, oh, it's the tradition. For the traditional crime ship, they say, oh, it's not the traditional. <laughs> so, it means it's new things approach every day. Some uh, small problem happen. If you can't control these small problems, it means disaster will happen. So for me, some people say, why you still like have a secret? You know, in China, usually I give the lecture I secret on here, but in, in that is I can't do this. But why? Because every time when, when, when we go to the construction site, every worker will give you a secret. So it means in the two hours, maybe you should have small, more than 20 secrets and uh, give the answer to 100 questions, very practical, how to construct this, this bricks, how to control this connection between the bricks and the concrete. Many, many from uh, questions like this. But, but the Chinese craftsmen are really very smart, I think. They have a long tradition about craftsmanship. But I also find now the craftsmanship uh, master and uh, workers, good one, is old, around uh, 60 years old. Uh, so I think 10 years later, this tradition will be disappeared again. So now I'm more focused about how can keep this tradition in real life and not just in the museum. <clears throat> As many people, they visit this museum many times. It's very interesting. This lady, uh, he tell, he, she tell me he has visited this muse museum four times within three months because his house had been demolished. He found many familiar things in this building's wall. So he loved here. He came here many times. So, it, so that time I, I'm really be moved. Yeah, I think our work, hard work, is worth to do, I think. You can see this old lady, like the philosopher, stand there a long time. I don't know what he's thinking. The people, they really have a great patience about this. Even in the uh, Monday, it's a closed day for museum. So many people stand here. They say, I have come. Please open doors. <laughs> I will go in. And fantastic. Uh, we, we, we also now do some new project. But usually, we don't 
see anything before our building be finished. But now, after I get the, the prize, many people give the present. What about new works? What about new project? So now, I think today I can show a little bit. It's another museum near Ningbo. The Ningbo, Ningbo History Museum is in the new city center. But this museum inside the mountains is a, a design is for a private collection about the traditional dowry. It's, it's very funny. Everything is red colors. Clothes, furniture, everything is red colors. I do this design for this private collection. It's a site, a very normal site. It's uh, usually when I do some design, I keep some memory from something. For example, this village, this vision. It's our uh, drawing. Uh, usually we start our drawing from the hand, hand drawing. But finally, we, we have to use the computer to do it. <coughs> That's the drawing. It's, I'm, mo I'm more focused on, it's not about shape and form. It's, it's about life. It's about the event. What, what about we can imagine uh, something and, uh, about uh, our memory. It's a construction site now. It's, uh, we used uh, about the six different way about the stone construction in this building. It's, it means uh, I want to express feeling about some uh, uh, variety and uh, it's not just about uh, uh, steel. <coughs> it's, uh, we also use a different way uh, bamboo uh, plate as a model to cast concrete. <coughs> it's the inner space. It's also, you can see the stone wall go in the inside. <coughs> and uh, the red color uh, is also the tiles, but it's not the traditional tiles. It's a big one, machine tiles. It's very popular in 1960 to 1980s in China, but now the people abandon this materials, they they looking for some more uh, popular modern materials. So we also have many old material, old new material. So I start do some research about how to combine with the traditional recycled materials. This in construction, a different layer space. Another thing is very difficult to express, but. For me, it's real. What meaning about beautiful? What meaning about beautiful existence, environment? Usually, I will think about this painting, like this. And now there's so many high-rise buildings. It says, how we can still keep this feeling in our life, I think is very important. Thanks. Thank you.